Hello, everybody. I don't think I need to tell you where we are. I think over our shoulder, it is pretty obvious what we are standing in front of. Big guy. Yeah, the big guy. And it was just going off like 30 seconds ago, so it would have been so, cool. so perfect if it was happening while we were talking. But hey, maybe later in the show it will. <laughs> For Taylor Epps and Matt Bove, we made the trip out here yesterday, and we spent the entire day bringing the people that have made the trip back home to you. Taylor has been talking to fans. I've been talking to, about the stadium. You just got back from a Bills backers bar. It sounds like it was pretty crazy. It was insane. And what day is it? Thursday? We're, I don't even know. They're all blending together at this point. There's no football on. There's yeah. football, soccer football happening Bad football. here. But the bar here is just absolutely packed with Bills fans. They're loading it up, putting flags on the wall and all that stuff. And this is not something that happened overnight, you know? Yeah. The Bills haven't been big in London for a while, really. Mm -hmm. It's just happened in the past couple of years or so, and it's effort from people who live here and people who are actually from Western New York who have moved here, bringing that Bills Mafia spirit over here across the pond. So I want to introduce you to the Bills home away from home. On this Thursday night in the streets of downtown London, it's quiet, peaceful even as people make their way home. But for Bills Mafia, that home is on Tottenham Court Road, and it's anything but quiet. Hey! We spend time with those fans from London, from New York, people visiting, expats, the whole nine. Welcome to the Fitzrovia Bell, a Bill's Backers Bar in London. These three are Western New York expats who keep the mafia moving across the pond. Becca is from Rochester. Rachel here is from Hamburg, a Frontier High grad. And Bridget is from South Buffalo, a graduate of Mount Mercy. I've been in London for almost five years and, and found a little slice of home here at the Fitzrovia. Really, we've seen this fan base in London just grow exponentially over the last few years. And that's happened in a pretty short time. They first started showing Bill's games here about three years ago. There were 10 to 15 of us regularly. Last week we had over 100 for the Miami game. That's due to their hard work recruiting Londoners and turning them into Bill's fans, which they tell me is actually pretty easy. The pub culture here is really similar to the overall drinking culture in Buffalo that surrounds football games. It's a place that's very similar to Buffalo in that you have this just range of people who are factory workers to people who are lawyers and work in high rises. And what we find is that like football, both soccer and the NFL just bring people together in a way that is very similar to the way it does in Buffalo. So this is the place to be this week while Bill's Mafia completely takes over the UK. We're in London, baby. Go Bill's. <laughs> Yeah, this has been so, so exciting, right? You're seeing those people out there. I actually met people tonight who started the night not as Bills fans, not even knowing there was an <laughs> NFL game happening yeah. in London, and then get, getting some free tickets from some Bills Love fans. It. Now, of course, they're Bills fans, and they're going to the game on Sunday. It's super easy for them to make that transition. It's so awesome to see it. And everywhere we've gone on our plane, you're walking in the streets, yep. you're seeing people in the Bills gear. I don't think I've seen a single Jags fan. No, I don't think so either. I haven't seen any of that turquoise in no. black, but a lot of red, white, and blue over here.